Pokemon franchise has sold over 245 million copies of their legendary role-playing games. In fact, this franchise is so popular that over 10 billion hours has been spent playing Pokemon games since their release in 1996. But in order to catch them all, you will need plenty of Pokeballs. This is because Pokeballs are used to convert the matter of the targeted Pokemon into energy. The Pokemon is then stored inside of the Pokeball until the trainer releases the Pokemon and converts them back into matter. Now it might seem like fun throwing Pokeballs at each creature that you encounter, but in reality it would take as much energy as there is in all of the nuclear weapons on Earth just to convert one Pokemon into its energy state. So catching a Pokemon may come with some catastrophic side effects, but it might be worth it if you can catch this one. Charizard is the first Pokemon to ever appear on the Japanese anime, and is known for evolving from Charmander and Charmeleon, being able to breathe fire, and not being able to fly in the first Pokemon games. But Charizard is a pretty big creature, so maybe he was too big to fly. Well, despite being an imposing dragon Pokemon, Charizard is actually only 5'7", being roughly the same height as the average North American person. Charizard is also a heavy creature, clocking in at about 199.5 pounds. Why didn't they just say 200? I don't know. This is about 6 times heavier than the heaviest bird capable of flight today, the Cory Bustard. So even though Charizard might not be capable of flying in our world, he is still more than capable of melting boulders. This means that Charizard could actually create flowing lava by just using his flamethrower on rocks. But one way to douse Charizard's powerful fire attacks is to use a water type Pokemon. Take Blastoise for example, he is a 5'3", 188.5 pound Pokemon that is evolved from Squirtle and Wartortle. Blastoise is known for having a protective shell to shield itself from incoming attacks, and hydro pumps which shoot water jets out at lethal velocities upwards of 4,600 kilometers per hour. These hydro pumps are so powerful that they can punch a hole through steel. And if that wasn't enough, they are also extremely accurate, being able to hit tin cans from a distance of 160 feet away. But one big weakness to these water type Pokemon are grass type Pokemon. One of the original dynamic grass type Pokemon is Venusaur. It is an evolved form of Bulbasaur and Ivysaur. It is also the biggest out of the original trio of fully evolved Pokemon and being able to harness solar energy for its devastating solar beam attack. This attack uses concentrated radiation to bring down its enemies, similar to how the Law's laser brings down fighter jets for the US Navy. This is one of the most destructive moves in the game, but its downside is that it does require sunlight. So technically, Venusaur's biggest weakness is not a Pokemon, but it's actually the hours of 9pm to 6am when it's dark outside. Even though darkness may not be kind to Venusaur, there are certain Pokemon that thrive in the dark. There was a Pokemon so powerful that for many years it was considered to be unstoppable. Its name is Mewtwo, and is actually the result of an experiment gone wrong where scientists tried to recombine the genes of Mew, hence where the name Mewtwo comes from. And because he was born in a lab, Mewtwo actually has a birthday. February 6th. And even though Mewtwo is an all-powerful creature in the Pokemon games whose only weakness at one point was a Beedrill, Mewtwo is actually not the most powerful creature in the Pokemon games. So then who is it? Maybe it's one of the legendary birds like Articuno, Zapdos, or Moltres. By the way, the names of the legendary birds end in uno, dos, tres, which is actually Spanish for one, two, three. So maybe Mew is the most powerful. I mean, Mew is said to be the ancestor of all Pokemon. Well, no, it's not Mew either. Okay, so it must be Arceus, the Pokemon that is said to have created the entire universe. Well, that's not it either. The honor of the most powerful Pokemon in all of the Pokemon games goes to... Shuckle. A level 100 Shuckle can actually do more damage than any other Pokemon in the game. And yes, even more than Magikarp. I know, I'm sad too. Now before I go, here's a few things about the Pokemon universe that I would like to mention. The glitch Pokemon Missingno, which actually stands for Missing Number, is actually the result of 39 deleted Pokemon that made their way into the game. So whenever you see a Missingno, you're actually encountering a deleted Pokemon. Wobbuffet is actually this, and the blue part actually acts as a decoy to protect Wobbuffet. Tyruge evolves into the fighting Pokemon Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan, named after the famous fighters Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan. 
The original Pokemon mascot was supposed to be Clefairy and not Pikachu. And did anyone else notice how Jinx's skin changed from black to purple? Yeah, that was weird. Thank you for watching Jaxi. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite Pokemon is. And click here if you want to see another science video. And click here because it is the awesome button. And you're going to want to click on that button. This is Jaxi saying good luck catching them all. And I will see you next time.